Welcome. Uh, on that, that note, uh, got a chance to walk through the facility last week, and it, it's you know really exciting uh, going through it our last bye week and to see the progress, really see it kind of framed out and with the walls up. It's uh, it's kind of neat. So uh, that's a good thing certainly. And then regarding today, uh, first of all, I just want to thank our fans. It was a really nice turnout. Good uh, good energy out there, and uh, all of us appreciate that. The players, coaches, everybody involved. Uh, I think for the most part, a pretty pretty good day. Um, you know, first of all, nobody got hurt. Secondly, I think we only counted one quarterback center exchange, which is not bad for a spring game. Uh, and then the other part is I think, you know, overall our team uh, made progress and improved during the course of spring, which is, you know, what every coach is looking for, certainly. So uh, we had our ups and downs during the spring, but I think overall the attitude's been really good and uh, the guys are trying to get something accomplished. And I think we are, we're moving forward. But, uh, you know, like every year, we're hardly ready to play. But I think at least we've taken care of this phase and now, now we'll turn our sights to the next step once we uh, once we finish up this weekend. A lot of buzz about your backup quarterback today. Did he make a statement at all today, or uh, you know, not really to us. I mean, he's really been doing a good job, and and uh, you know, it's a world of difference in that regard for both he and uh, Jake. Uh, you know, a year ago they were both competing for a job. Neither one had played in the game, and um, you know, it, it's just a world of difference right now. Both guys have played meaningful snaps out there. They've both done some really good things on the game field, and. Uh, pretty much like any player, again, quarterbacks a more prominent uh, position and a little bit more, uh, they've got a little bit more on their shoulders than a lot of people, but uh, the confidence level that both of them have now compared to, to a year ago. And, and CJ could throw it last year too. I mean, it wasn't like, uh, you know, he just learned how to throw it. He can throw that ball well. So uh, really pleased with both guys. And, you know, it's been a good, healthy competition. And, you know, we feel fortunate to have two players that we're very confident in. Greg this week talked about uh, potentially getting series and games for CJ, is that something that's just on the board or is that something that's really going to happen? You, you know, it was on the board uh, coming out of the um, recruiting phase. You know, we first sat down and started talking and, you know, after watching the spring, I, I think it's really uh, very realistic because they, uh, they both do some things well. And, you know, I'll be clear about this too, Jake has really elevated his performance. He's, he's you know, I think a better player than he was in January. So it, it's a good thing. and. Um, yeah, when you have two players that uh, you know you have a lot of confidence in, I think it makes sense to to, to play them in a game. The, the tricky part is with quarterbacks; it's a little bit different. So, uh, but I, I think that's realistic and something certainly we're going to talk about once we get uh, get back together football-wise in June. Don't know what the exact number was, but the offense had quite a handful of explosive plays. You know, can you just talk about being able to see that from the offense? This yeah, year? probably a big difference from two years ago, certainly. And uh, you know, I think two two areas we've really um, you know, made strides in very clearly would be the defensive line and, and the receiver position from two years ago. And, and we're losing a really good tight end in C.J. Fedorowicz, uh, and that's you know, that'll be documented here uh, about three weeks from now and, um, you know, in the years to come. He's got a really good career in the NFL. But I think we've got a group of guys there right now that can kind of absorb that loss. Uh, but if you look back two years ago throwing the football and uh, where our defensive line was, you know, it was uh, a little bit different. So I think we've really, you know, clearly we were – better defensive line last year. And I think we have a potential maybe to take another step. And then uh, the receivers certainly, uh, you know, I think Devon really kind of came of age and made one of the biggest plays of the season last year against Michigan. And Cavante uh, continues to grow and improve, and he's a really uh, proven a good player. And it's fun to watch, uh, you know, Jay Killer did some good things. He had a good spring. And, uh, you know, you go right down the list. And then obviously Willie's, you know, today was his best day. Uh, now we got to try to corral him because, you know, he'll be the uh, – Spring, spring game sensation, uh, but but he really he did some good things today and maybe as nice a play as I saw as the one he made right on our sideline for a first down conversion, really a nice grab and uh, you know kept his foot in and all that kind of thing. So so we we're you know we're growing we're we're uh, improving there and that, that's one thing I'm really happy about right now. What is your stage? Your secondary, Lomax in a new position. How's that? Going? I, I think Jordan's going to be just fine. It's ironic he had a missed tackle today because that's one thing he'll he'll come up and tackle you and uh, but he had one today and. Uh, but I think he's more comfortable now after 15 days uh, being kind of the quarterback back there. And, and I think we have good competition at the corner position. We have three guys really competing for that one spot. You know, it's, it's a dead heat. And uh, I think a lot of our, our uh, positions right now won't we'll get decided probably till well into to August camp. We'll see how guys improve. But it's a good, good group of young guys. And, uh, you know, I think uh, you know, we clearly have work to do. But we, I think the potential's there. You, at, uh, at free safety and a middle linebacker, you have two new guys, but they're both academic guys. I think Quentin Austin is an academic All Big Ten guy. I mean, how much 
how does that help you trans transfer them not only athletically but also when they're calling? You know, I know them. Quentin is not a senior. You know, I'm a, excuse me, a, a returning starter, mm -hmm. but he feels like it. I guess is what I'm trying to say. He is a senior, uh, four-year guy, like the, the uh, three guys we just graduated, and uh, but he just. Yeah, I think everybody feels like, you know, geez, he's been our, our middle linebacker, which obviously he hasn't been. But uh, if circumstances would have uh, uh, caused it a year ago, you know, James would have moved, or if James wasn't in the game, Quentin was going to be in there playing. He played a lot on third down. He's just so respected by everybody on, on the uh, on the team and everybody involved in the program because he just does stuff right, you know, and he's a, a guy that we have great faith in. So I think he's really comfortable out there making calls, making checks. Um, you know, so it's I don't see that one being a huge – Transition and uh, but all that being said, he's not James Morris, and you know, uh, but he's, he's got his own identity. I think he's going to be a really good football player, and there's a real comfort level with all of us uh, with him. Rick, uh, the offensive line, the, the newish guys, are they? Has anything solidified there? Uh, yeah, I think Sean uh, Welsh is kind of risen above right now, so uh, he's clearly our fifth guy. But he also has ground to make up, and uh, I think he did that this spring. You know, we. Watched him during the course of spring improve, and when you do something for 15 days, uh, pictures become sometimes become clear. Sometimes they're really clearly cloudy, and other times uh, they go the other direction. And uh, I think he's on the right path. So I think he'll he'll make it. You know, he's got work to do before next uh, we open up at the end of August, but uh, he's doing well. And I think a lot of guys on that second line right now. This is a really important time for them, and it's going to be uh, interesting to see where they're at at the end of camp. You know, because I think they can improve too, and they're going to need to. We're, we're going to need more guys. On the defensive line, I know obviously Drew started last season, but considering how he's had to go up against Brandon constantly this spring and what you saw out of him today, and I would imagine the rest of the spring, do you feel he's kind of on that same footing now with guys like Louie and Carl? I think he's catching up to him, and mm -hmm. uh, you know, Louie has been last year, he was just Mr. Dependable, if you will, and just mm -hmm. uh, so steady. Um, you know, so he's, um, yeah, that's Drew's still got a little little ways to catch up to him, but mm -hmm. I think he's got that kind of potential. And you know, we made the decision a year ago, year and a half ago, to, to play him as a mm -hmm. freshman, uh, and that was a little painful for him, I'm sure. But uh, I think that experience has probably helped him accelerate, and he really played well last year. And he continues to improve, so we're happy about that. And uh, Mike Hardy stepped in and played really well last year, and then I think Myers made a real improvement too. So you know, it looks like we're uh, making some some inroads there. Where are you right now with punter and kicker? That to me, they're still. It's going to be. It's a little bit like our quarterback situation a year ago, where I think we'll just keep pushing it forward and see where, where it takes us. You know, it's kind of been one day, one day, back and forth, in, in both uh, both instances. Is Kane kind of the guy that would kick if he had a game tomorrow or next week? You know, it kind of depends on what day it is. You know, because we've had one day where one guy, uh, you know, Alden will do really well, and you know, Marshall not so much, and then the next day it might just be the flip. So uh, that, that's one we're going to have to watch a little bit longer and see where it goes. You know about your depth of linebacker, guys like Jewel and Kenny, guys who never really played. Yeah, we, you know, we had a chance to learn a lot more about them, uh, and it started back in December, but certainly uh, during this 15-day block. Um, and I think both those guys you mentioned, uh, uh, John and uh, Josie, really did a good job with their opportunities and have made some some strides in progress right now. So, and uh, unfortunately, Travis, he's just had a, uh, the last couple of weeks have been really bad for him health-wise. He's it was one thing, and then another thing. He got sick, lost 12 pounds. I mean, the whole nine yards. So, um, you know, big thing to him is just trying to get him relaxed right now and realize that he's a valuable guy on our football team. It'll be good to get him back healthy. Uh, but the good news out of that was it, it gave other guys some opportunities. So I think we're we're at least uh, you know making making uh, progress, but we're we're not there yet for sure. Is that is that about Mark's workload of practice? About maybe a handful of carries because you're you're always right. I mean he. He just goes hard. I mean, that's yeah, I, I don't know how many we're going to give him, but uh, if we can keep him fresh so every game he can play the way he can play, that, that's that's kind of the target. And I think we have, uh, I think Damon's better now than he was, uh, you know, at the start of practice. And I think Jordan had a good spring, and uh, LaShawn continues to move. And those three young guys have all done some good things. Uh, Akram's been a little bit nicked up, um, so he's a little bit behind. But Jonathan Parker really improved, and uh, um, you know, I think Barkley's done a really nice job too. So. We'll try to figure that out as we go. It's like right to have some depth there. For unusual, yeah, <laughs> unusual. It's, now we got to develop some some other places. Barkley coming back from that ACL. You know, yeah, I don't think it's affected him at all. At least it doesn't appear to. So yeah, he's he's just practicing and doing a good job.